Hello all, welcome to VZD Academy. This is Anil Kumar, Faculty of Digital Electronics. Sir, up to now we have seen four types of gates. We can see three basic gates and one universal gate. Sir, we are left over with one more universal gate that is called NOR gate. Sir, basically here we have one more universal gate. We can say NOR gate. We can say universal gate. Sir, what is the meaning of universal? Why we are calling NAND gate and NOR gate are universal gates? Because, sir, the moment when we look at NAND gate and NOR gate for further classes, sir, if I want to connect any type of gate by using NAND gate and NOR gate, it is possible. If I want to connect NOT gate with the help of NAND gate or NOR gates, we can, it is possible. And now, if I want to connect AND gate or gate, with the help of NOR gate and NAND gate, it is possible. So that is the reason we are, we are calling it as universal gates, which means we can connect any type of gate that is called, <coughs> we can say NOT gate, AND gate, OR gate, XR gate, X NOT gate. We can say any type of combinational circuit or we can say any type of uh, sequential circuit we can connect by using NAND and NOR gates. That is the reason why we are calling it as universal gates. Sir, so let us try to understand the few points about NOR gate. I told you in the previous class itself, the moment when we are studying about any type of logic gate, we just need to remember few points here is, the first point, what is its logic circuit? What is the logic circuit? And second thing is, what is the truth table? What is the truth table? And third point, what is the logical expression? logical expression and fourth point that we need to understand is how many number of number of inputs and outputs we just need to know and then fifth point what is the control input or we can also call it as enable input zero condition and then here control input control input one condition and the seventh point whether the circuit is following commutative law commutative law and whether the circuit is following associative law associative law and the last point we can say what are the unused input conditions unused input conditions these are the points which we need to learn sir when we are studying about any type of logic gate or we can say universal gates we can also call it as NOR gate let me take the first point here, the logic circuit, we can say logic circuit of NOR gate. Here, the logic circuit will be, this is called, of course, we can say NOR gate or we can say R gate. This is A and B are the inputs and then if we can connect one bubble here, so it will become NOR gate, Y equal to a plus B whole bar. Of course, we can also call it as NOR gate, also called as bubble R gate, bubbled B U B B, bubbled R gate, we can also call it as. The symbol or circuit of bubbled R gate is like this here. This is R gate. If we can connect here, one not gate here one not gate we can say if we can connect two not gates then here a and b the circuit can act as y equal to a plus b whole bar which means the circuit is also acting as nor gate also we can draw the circuit like this we just need to take here one bubble and we can take another bubble here and for these two bubbles if i can draw on r gate here A and B. The circuit can also act as Y equal to A plus B bar, which means sir, so these three are the logic NAR gates. So now let me try to explain what is the truth table for this NAR gate. <coughs> Here the second point is truth table. Truth table. Sir, so here the number of inputs are A and B. We know that. 
a and b are the inputs and now output will be we can say let me take first of all y equal to a plus b and then let me take y equal to a plus b whole bar now the possible input combinations for the two inputs we can say we know that two input two inputs here we have four input combinations 0 1 1 0 and then 1 1 so these are the possible input combinations sir now let us try to understand how the truth table looks like the when we add 0 plus 0 automatically 0 a equal to 0 and then b equal to 0 so we can say here 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 and then 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 so this is the R gate truth table and now this R gate we can say y equal to a plus will be inverted because the NOR gate will, ha will have y equal to a plus b whole bar so it will become 0 will become 1 and then 1 will become 0 here 1 will become 0 and then 1 will become 0 so this is the truth table of R gate uh, we can say NOR gate now let me take the third condition we can say logical expression sir here third condition logical expression we can say here y equal to a plus b into whole bar we can say this is what SOP sum of products form and now the fourth con point here we can say number of number of inputs and outputs for the given market is number of inputs are we can say 2 and then outputs you can say 1 so this is what about fourth point now let me take the fifth point here the control input zero condition sir what will happen when we apply when we apply one of the inputs is zero for the given nor gate what will happen so let us try to understand <coughs> Sir, this is fifth condition. Control input zero. Sir, this is NOR gate. This is NOR gate. Of course, here A and then B. If I can take B equal to zero, I know the truth table here. A and then B. Y equal to a plus B whole bar 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 these are the four conditions for these four conditions output will be here 1 1 and now 1 here 0 0 0 so this is the condition or we can say this is the truth table for this particular truth table let us try to analyze here the moment when I take B equal to 0 and when I apply a equal to 1, 0 and then x, let me take here some, uh, we can say square wave. What will happen, sir? Here, uh, case 1, a equal to 1, b equal to 0. We know that a equal to 1, b equal to 0, output is 0, we can say. And now, case 2, here, a equal to 0 and then b equal to 0, a equal to 0, b equal to 0, we can say output is 1. And now, the third condition a equal to x we can say a equal to x and then b equal to 0 here b equal to 0 and then a equal to x sir let us try to understand for this type of inputs the moment when we apply the moment when we apply here here the moment when we apply one of the inputs is 0 the output will be automatically complement of the another input let me tell you again if one of the inputs is 0 the output will be complement of the another input here for the first case here one of the inputs is 0 for b b equal to 0 see here a equal to 0 so that the output will be complement of the a so this will become 1 and now here one of the inputs is 0 a equal to 0 output will be complement of the another input here b equal to 1 output will be 0 and now here one of the inputs is 0 we can say output will be complement of the another input here a equal to 1 so that output will be 0 so can I say that here b equal to 0 and then a equal to x one of the inputs is 0 so output will be become we can say x bar and now here b equal to 0 
the fourth case we can say square wave so now the circuit will uh, produce opposite of the square so based upon this condition i can say that the circuit is acting as inverter which means whatever i apply for the input a suppose if i can keep b equal to 0 then always output is we can say opposite output of the input a now let me consider the sixth case we can say <coughs> sixth case control input control input one case sir so here let us try to understand let us try to understand when we apply when b equal to 1 what will happen here case a a equal to 1 and then b equal to 1 what will happen when a equal to 1 and then b equal to 1 we can say fourth condition output is 0 we can say and now second condition when we apply a equal to 0 instead of 1 and then b equal to 1 what will happen when a equal to 0 and then b equal to 1 output is 0 we can say and now let us try to take the third condition when a equal to x what will happen when a equal to x and now when b equal to 1 sir the moment when we uh, when we go through this kind of inputs when a equal to x or a square wave or something else except 0 and 1 the moment when we take this kind of inputs let us try to understand the logic sir when one of the inputs of available two inputs is 0 then automatically output is 0 sir we just need to remember this logic when one of the inputs is 1 we can say automatically output is 0 so here b equal to 0 so now when one of the inputs is 1 we can say automatically output is 0 even though here a equal to 0 or 1 or we can say x also we can take here output is 0 and then fourth case here square wave sir again the same logic when one of the inputs is 1 we can say output is 0 so now for these four inputs when we change a equal to 1 0 x or something else whatever it is when we keep on apply b equal to 1 here the circuit is acting as fixed output fixed output or we can say disable condition disable condition so this is this is what about we can say control input 0 and then control input 1 case next case we can say point number 7 commutative law we have seen up to now control input 0 case and then control input 1 case and now let us try to take the 7th point called commutative law here 7th point commutative law let us try to understand whether this nor gate is following commutative law or not we know that commutative law means when we interchange the available inputs when we interchange a to b and then b to u b to a even though when we interchange the both inputs a to b and then b to a if output is same for the two logic gates we can say the circuit is satisfying commutative law now try to understand here this is called nor gate this is a and then b y equal to a plus b whole bar sir if i can interchange here b and then this is a and now this is nor gate y equal to b plus a whole bar sir we can say that y equal to a plus b whole bar which is equal to b plus a whole bar both are similar so that we can say the nor gate is satisfying commutative law let me take the eighth point called associative law associative law let us try to understand the subject associative law the moment when we add one more input to the logic circuit here this is nor gate nor gate we can say a and b are the inputs the output we can say y1 which is equal to a plus b whole bar and now if i can connect here c c and then this is output y1 and now nor gate here this is y2 which means y2 equal to we can say y1 plus and now this is c whole bar let me substitute y1 here y2 equal to what is the y1 we can say a plus b whole bar plus c 
pole bar. This is called Y2. And now let me take another case here. Sir, I want to interchange the inputs. Here, let me take here. This is B and C. I want to draw one OR gate. And the output is Y1 equal to B plus C whole bar. Let me take this here A. And now Y1 will be connected to A with one more NOR gate. Now this will become Y2. Here what is the Y2 set? Here Y2 equal to Y1 plus A whole bar. So this is Y2. Now if I can Y2 equal to Y1 means B plus C whole bar plus A into whole bar. So this is Y2. Set. Based upon this analysis, if I can expand or if I can try to draw the truth table, here these two inputs or we can say two outputs are not equal. So based upon this analysis, we can say that the NOR gate is not following associate law, which means Y2 equal to A plus B bar plus C whole bar is not equal to B plus C bar plus A whole bar. So this is what the condition. By this reason, we can say that the circuit NOR gate is not following associated. Now the left over point is unused input condition. That is, the left over part is here unused condition. We have seen counted to the associate to and the left over is only unused input condition. Let us try to understand the ninth case unused input case. Sir, the points for unused in input case of NOR gate is similar to OR gate we have seen already. Even then let me try to explain. We have three cases here. The case one here NOR gate we can connect A, B the third input here Y equal to A plus B whole bar here sir the third input we can connect we can connect to law, we can say ground, then also the circuit can work. And then the case 2 here, NOR gate, this is A and B. We can connect one of the, one of the inputs to this particular third input, then also circuit can work A, Y equal to A plus B, whole bar. We can also connect here the third input to even we can say A Y equal to A plus B whole bar this is A and then B this is third input C we can say third input C here third input C and now even for third case we can connect here this is A and B and then this is NOR gate Y equal to A plus B whole bar we can connect this third input to 0 if it is TTL gate 0 TTL gate if it is 1 for ECL gate sir if you are using this logic family belongs to TTL transistor transistor logic we can use third input for 0 and if it is ECL inter coupled logic family you can use third input as 1. So that is the possible conditions for using third input or open input. We can say floating input. So this is what about NOR gate. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.